Uh, mm -hmm. Our longtime president and general manager, Steve Malden, is retiring. In fact, this is Steve's last week as the leader of CBS2 and KCAL 9. And our Jasmine Veal has a look at his passion for local news and giving back to the community. You didn't, you didn't have to get dressed up for us. For the last 10 years, KCBS and KCAL president and general manager Steve Malden oversaw the largest local television duopoly in the country. This week, he'll wrap up his 40 plus year executive career in television. Every time I would see you in the newsroom or just even around the studio, I always knew that your heart was in everything that we did here. He leaves behind a legacy of community involvement and public service. From the annual Chips for Kids toy drive with CHP. Tireless, tireless out by the higher children. To bringing Stephanie's Day here to LA. Stephanie's Day! It's an annual resource fair held on the CBS studio lot for families impacted by autism and other special needs. As a father of a daughter with autism, he was especially committed to building awareness and creating an event to bring together numerous nonprofits that provide specialized services. The one thing that I realized when we did the first Stephanie's Day, so many people came up to us and said, this is the only place we've ever been in our life mm. that we feel welcome with our child. That meant the world to me. Stephanie's Day was just selected as the recipient of the 71st Los Angeles Area Emmys Governor's Award, an honor that's given to an individual or company that has made a substantial contribution to the area. Last year, when a destructive wildfire burned down homes in LA and Ventura counties, Malden pulled together a massive fire relief fundraiser with the United Way of Greater Los Angeles and the LA Rams. We're just doing what we should be doing, and that's reaching out to help those that need help right now. And there are many, and as you said, I think it brings out the very best in people. We just hit the $1 million mark. It raised more than a million dollars in just one day. But this was a general manager who, in a day and age where people are always looking at the bottom line. This is somebody who still cares about the community and that's what I will miss about it. It was Malden's commitment to the community that helped forge a partnership with the LA Rams, designating CBS2 as their preseason home. I'm a huge Rams fan. Glad to have the Rams on too. Love the Rams on too. What a great organization. That partnership has carried over into other community outreach programs like the LAUSD Student Teacher of the Month. When you go out of your space and you reach out to help people, that's really what life's all about. I think that's the way we're judged at the end of the day. Malden, who has always put family and his community first, had to focus on his own health when he was diagnosed with stage four cancer years ago. It slowed him down, but not for long. He arrived here in LA ready to transform CBS2 and KCAL 9. He did just that. Now he's bidding farewell to a long and successful career. I've worked for many general managers here in Los Angeles, but you are special. Best of luck to you. Godspeed. Thank you for making all of us better journalists and better people. Thank you to all you guys. I'm Jasmine Veal, CBS 2 News. You know, I, uh, I once had a general manager at a TV station, I won't say, tell me, we are not your community station. It's because of Steve Malden that we are. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do this, um, but you know, you have people that you work for, you have bosses, and then you have people that are more like a friend, and that's how I feel about uh, Steve Malden. He has always been true to his word. Yes. And again, his involvement in the community is boundless and endless, and it is very, very real. There is nothing staged, no acting going on. He mm -hmm. cares about so many people and all of us. So. I just want to say uh, thank you. He's probably, if he's watching this, going, okay, Pat, wrap it up. I was going to say, <laughs> so Steve would say time, time to move on. <laughs> Go to Garth. Or All maybe right. not. <laughs> so, so, Garth, we send it.